First off, it was great to see you dancing in this. Oh yeah. How okay. much how much choreography did you have to learn for this? There was a good deal of choreography in this. A lot of it didn't even make it in the movie actually. Um, and uh, there's also the scene with Emma Watson's character that was choreographed in advance, uh, Meg March. Um, so uh, what a thrill to get to do that, that kind of stuff on camera. If anything feels like it's old school or something to to get to uh, play out a sequence like that in a movie. Did did it take long to shoot those scenes? Um, uh, I mean, yes and no. It could have gone longer. It could have been. We didn't. We didn't spend all day, for instance, on the on the scene with Joe. And yet, once we got into it, it was the rest of the day, and we did it on an overnight. So, it's funny to be like manically and joyously dancing with someone. It's like three, four a.m. outside. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is based on an iconic novel. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know what sort of books are you into? Uh, all kinds. All kinds. Like what? Was uh, there a book that you grew up with, maybe? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, cause seriously, that's not a dime, I mean, all kinds, but, uh, but if you want to go by period of life or something, yeah, like growing up, um, um, the book that's coming to mind right now is 1984, but, uh, but I also was exposed to a lot of great Dostoevsky growing up and uh, a lot of great American literature, too, uh, and Then They Will Come is a great book, too. Um, some Norzeal Hurston, some, I mean, a lot of stuff, yeah. That's deep stuff. Yes. <laughs> what was the last book you read? Um, the last book I read is a book called Winner, uh, Winners Take All. And uh, I should know the author's name, um, but I don't, but it's an excellent book. It's about uh, uh, just uh, contemporary landscapes of uh, progressive missions masquerading as progressive missions when maybe they're just reinforcing. Did you read Little Women? Of course, yeah. I'd, but I didn't read it in I didn't read it in grade school and in high school. Like uh, it seems I'm learning on this <laughs> tour that uh, seems to be customary in America. But uh, but once Greta reached out with it, and I, I read it. I read it after this. I read it after the script, so I, I knew it was happening. But, uh, but and what did you think the first time you you read it? It's inc I mean it's incredible and it's it's uh, its relevance is both. Uh, obvious and also in the cracks of the book and um, and it just felt like an honor it, it feels almost I feel unworthy to I feel like legitimate to talk about the movie because I'm in it but when it comes to talking about the book I feel like daunted because uh, not not in discussion whatever but in, in, in anything beyond talking about how great it is like yeah your star's really shining bright at the moment. Thank How you. does it feel to be at this at this sort of pinnacle? Uh, hopefully, that's going to keep rise, rising. But yeah, you're everywhere. You're you're the internet's boyfriend. <laughs> How does that? I make Keanu you feel? Reeves was the internet's boyfriend. No, <laughs> no. I feel I I uh, I don't know. I've been working a lot, so I haven't been too self aware. And uh, I just want to work on great. I want to work with great directors, and I want to work on great projects. So anything that can help facilitate that is great.